Well, hello, class. Today's medical lecture is going to focus on the proper triage techniques. Here, let me turn the camera this way. For when you run out of the hospital and need to pull said IV out on your own. Now, although I don't necessarily recommend running out of hospitals, if you're going to do it, do it right. First step in the DIV, which is sort of like sublimicating process, is to have the proper tools. So, where's my wrench? I have a wrench somewhere. All right. So, Today, we're going to take the wrench that usually either you use for a plumbing job or for self-defense to hit somebody on the head. Yes, it weighs about two, three pounds. Oh, that's the two or three pounds I lost today. Wrench. Then the key. Power drill. Cordless, might I add. Ryobi. Uh, lithium 12 volt battery you could buy any local Home Depot or Target or Target or Walmart stores rednecks should not ever be given cordless drills that's just like giving alcohol to a, a drunk it just shouldn't happen but it done did this is really going to be the key in the DIV process as you're about to see We'll put that right there. Okay. Gauze pad. Stable surface is also important, as you can see I have. And just so you know that I'm going to hit the target correctly, I have my archery indoor shooting range target. Which, of course, if you're a real redneck, you have one of these handy inside your apartment to be used for all kinds of reasons DIVing being one of them okay now then the next item on the list is your curad alcohol prep pad very important it's maybe going overboard, but then when it comes to health, we go the extra step, which is why, of course, I'm doing this myself. You slightly tear open the alcohol prep pad and get ready to quickly and somewhat violently apply the pad onto the place where the blood is going to be coming out. Hold on while I go to the bathroom. Okay, we're back. Sometimes you just gotta go, bro. Okay, so. First thing you wanna do is take the wrench and wanna tighten it right on to the plastic cord and you just want to give a nice little twisting motion you can see how it's coming out just a little tuggy wuggy little tuggy okay good now that you've loosened up the area
Okay, sorry about that. Now that you've loosened up the area, it's important that you very delicately and carefully remove the bandage with a handy 12 by 1 half inch by 24 teeth saw that you could get very cheaply at a local Harbor Freight. Okay. Psych, just kidding. Even this redneck wouldn't use that. Rather, of course, you should use a sharp steak knife to remove any adhesive product on the skin. Very safe. I probably should say, don't do this at home unless you are a professional, non-certified, pra yet practicing love doctor like myself who has been schooled in the art of IV removal. Okay, once again, give a nice little motion. See that? Whoop! Whoop! Okay, hold on. While I get this off and... Okay, we're moving it off here, and oh no, oh, oh no, oh no, blood everywhere, no, oh the humanity, <laughs> gotcha, all right, so you can see I'm in my serious mode today, you should see me when I'm in my not serious mode, well, I probably should go wash this off, which I will do right now because the bathroom's right here. Once again, when you're washing, finesse is really important. All right, look at that, all clean. Oh, by the way, two more tools that are imperative, essential to have in IV removal are two hammers. Let me introduce you to them. Sledge and Jack. Welcome to the gun show, baby! Oh. <laughs> hey, I even made me laugh. Okay, which as a love doctor is very hard to do. Some of the things that I come across in counseling are so disturbing. Oh. My. God. Oh. Any minute. Okay. Uh, now that I've gotten ketchup all over this pad it's time because I'm prepared to go to my box of pads and it's not those type of pads if you know what I mean okay where is it come on where are you where, where are you oh oh Pam Curad pad see I don't come prepared with just one pad like hygiene products, I always got an extra one in my purse. Mm. Okay. Now then, we're going to, for real, now, do this seriously. We're going to remove with the knife. A redneck has to use a knife whenever he's doing anything. So we're going to peel, and a little peel, and ow, the pain! not i'll show you what pain is in a second it's not that okay all right here we go here we go here it comes ready set go oh oh okay alcohol prep pad bam oh that does sting 
unexpectedly. Okay, pressure pad, bam, put in the sledge, got my sticky tape ready to go. Just like I'm in the movies, I got shot. Oh, God, oh, the pain. Oh, the pain, I can't stand the pain. Okay. How do they do that in the movie? This is really hard. Mm -mm. Uh, bam, slam, thank you, ma'am. As you can see, we're making this nice and tight. Okay, sorry my big bulging muscles are in the way. But hey, when you have genetics on your side, it is what it is. Make sure when you're applying the stretchy tape that you do it tight enough that you cut off the circulation in the surrounding limbs. That's pretty much the best way to make sure that you have enough tension. Because if you don't cut off the circulation, you just never know. Now, the last step. Okay, we wanna tighten it up a little bit. Okay, apply the drill bit just like this. See, here it goes, see? See, see the tension? You thought I wasn't going to use this, but you just don't know a pro when you see one. Well, this is Joshua Schwager, a.k.a. The Love Doctor, signing off for today's medical lesson. And may you not find yourself at a very bad hospital that you have to run out of anytime soon. If you'd like to contact me for any further questions, you may do so at what's that number well you can email me that's easier to uh, anything auto no to just Joshua Schwager 51 at AOL.com J-O-S-H-U-A S-C-H-W-A G-E-R, the number five, the number one, at AOL.com. 51 was my football number. 51 in the program, number one in your hearts. Good night.